Sons of the Forest is one of the most anticipated survival games of 2023. So let's take a look at everything we know so far. After a couple of delays, it's now going into early access on February 23rd. It will launch exclusively on PC and most likely cost around $30 US. Given the fact that the forest eventually made its way to PS4 in the end, I believe that a console port down the line is highly probable. Have you ever wondered why the game is called Sons of the Forest and not just The Forest 2? Well, according to End Knight, there's actually a reason behind that, and we're going to discover it throughout the story. The events all begin after a helicopter crash, as shown by two of the trailers. Additionally, there seems to be a lot of focus on the mutants this time around. They've made various appearances in the trailer and look absolutely amazing. It seems like now the mutants are fighting back against any and all trespassers. In an interview, the team said that the focus would be mainly on visual storytelling. So there's going to be lesser dialogue and much of it's going to be centered around discovering the story as you go uncover different places and items. We know that gameplay will be inspired by the previous game, so you can expect to survive in the wild and constantly defend yourself from threats by crafting various items or shelters. Additionally, there would be a night cycle and weather mechanics just to mix things up. End Knight has stated that the game is about four to five times bigger than the original. This is super exciting. When asked about the shovel that was shown in the trailers, the team said that it was going to be one of our handiest tools. We'll be able to use it to create traps, as well as find entrances to caves and possibly even bury a body or two. Some of the other tools that can be seen in the trailer include a walkie-talkie, modern lighter, a remote controller, night vision goggles, GPS tool, and you can also see one of the characters using a 3D printer to create a cannibal mask. Building is an integral part of any survival game, and Sons of the Forest has lots of it. So far, End Knight has confirmed various building like log cabins, zip lines, custom walls, stairs, and floors, windowed walls, skin racks, stick fences, weapon holders, and electric structures such as solar panels. As for the combat, the overall feel of it seems like a definite improvement. We can now see the cannibals being smashed into bits as shown by some of the footage in the trailers. There seems to be about five different axes, two knives, an electric baton, a handmade spear, and if you look close, you can also spot a katana, a machete, and a crafted club. There hasn't been much in regard to firearms, but there are a few weapons that have been confirmed. These include a shotgun, two pistols, a taser, a rifle, and a crossbow. We also saw that these weapons could be customized by one of the shotguns having a flashlight on it, but we don't know to what degree. We've also seen various explosives such as Molotovs, plastic explosives, flares, and grenades. One of the most exciting changes between the forest and Sons of the Forest is the new AI system which End Knight has dubbed VAIL, a tool which governs the behavior of those who inhabit the island. Characters will be impacted by hunger, thirst, and their mental state, and all of these will alter their routines and reactions to events. Well, there you have it. Everything I know about Sons of the Forest, so far.